Good morning, you guys. How are you glowing? It is Thursday, November 3rd already, you guys. Like, oh my gosh. It's so, like, yeah. So, I don't know. I need to get my mama back a wig before I, like, have it all frizzed out. Anywho, quick video this morning. I wanted to talk about birth control oh my gosh y'all my experience yesterday was like so i'm gonna show y'all okay so i started taking these pills uh the next day after bringing my six week old baby home right so because i am strictly breastfeeding they give you pills that are progesterone only so I guess it doesn't have that other hormones or whatever in it and um from my experience with birth control they put like I've tried so many different types of birth controls over my years and my last experience with birth control I was taking it and um it had me crazy like I was flipping out like I was mood swings and happy sad cold hot yeah so I've had my experiences with birth control and birth control after this baby was definitely concerned for me I had resorted to wanting to get my tubes tied because I was like I don't want any more kids I'm not gonna have any more kids like this baby was blessed baby number three god gave her to us for a reason but if you had if i had to have it my way i wouldn't have been having a third baby like i would have just been getting my life because my two-year-old is old enough to like start living on her own <laughs> but anywho so i went to my six-week appointment yesterday and um birth control came up course and I just didn't know what to do so they were going to put me on more pills with the very light when you're breastfeeding exclusively they give you pills that are very light and just because you know it can affect your baby everything you put in your body can affect your baby when you're breastfeeding so these are really low 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 hormone pills like you can't miss the times you take them you have to wear extra protection when you're taking them when you start doing the do again and um I, I honestly to be transparent i know that that time is coming around for me hubs husband and wife time so i'm glad that she broke it down to me because i've been missing the time either i'm out and my alarm goes off for me to take this pill and i will come home and forget and blah blah, blah. and she was like if you excuse me she was telling me that if you even miss the time that you're supposed to take this pill every day, you can get pregnant. She was just saying that's just how light the pills are. So my plan was to stay on the pill, but honestly, I knew that I'm not that great with keeping up with my pills. I've had this problem in the past, didn't get pregnant, but because I was on pills that had higher hormones in it, I could miss. Not all the time, but I would miss and not take them accurately and stuff like that. But these in breastfeeding, she said, you cannot slip, not one bit. So yesterday she had me feeling like, well, maybe I should have gotten my tubes tied. But I don't want to do that because maybe I want more children later on down the road. Not right now, but I don't want more children. So she kind of made me make a decision. She didn't make me, but I'm glad she pressured me to make a decision and not leave the doctor's office without getting something because they were going to give me more pills really light hormone pills but when she broke it down that way i'm like woman i'm married i don't really use protection because i'm married i enjoy doing the do because i'm married <laughs> but i knew that i did not want i don't want to make any attempt or any mistake to get pregnant again anytime soon i just don't see how women do that that you know, they just had a baby and bam, they're pregnant and the baby is only two months. Oh, I can't handle that. Like that gives me so much anxiety just thinking about it. So I, because my options were either the depo, the pills, or the IUD, which is the, the, 
the thing that goes in your uterus for 10 years or something. I've tried all of those. I've had a depo when I was younger, didn't like it because you continue to have irregular periods forever. And of course my experiences with pills, didn't like, and then my experience with the um, IUD, didn't like. Just everything was irregular, it throws everything off. So I know now that I'm breastfeeding, if you're a mom and you're breastfeeding or whatever, um, you hear that you don't have periods while you're breastfeeding and I haven't had one pretty much since I came home. Um, so maybe light, I don't know, spotting, TMI, I don't know. But it was like a day and it was gone. But when you're breastfeeding, you don't have periods. So you have to be careful of that as well because when you're on a breast patrol, you look for your monthly at the end of that pack of pills every month to kind of keep you okay. Yeah, I'm not pregnant. So you don't even have that um, sign or signal when you're breastfeeding. So my last resort was this. And this is um, the next Nexplanon. The next Nexplanon is the thing that they put in your arm and it stays there for three years. And, you know, I've done my research. Everybody is different. Of course, you have to remember that everybody is different. Everybody reacts differently to different methods of birth control. Um, so we can't compare our situation to anybody else's situation. So this was my last resort. I was like, pills aren't going to work. I'm not doing a shot and I'm not getting that IUD thing again. So I got the next one. On. I can't show you how it looks right now. I don't even know how it looks because when I got it in, it took like five minutes. She was like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Because, you know, I don't suggest you leave here with pills and, and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll do the next one. On. And in 10 minutes, they have prepared everything and I laid down and it was done. So um, I take this bandage off. Um this afternoon around two three ish she said i leave this on for 24 hours and i have no idea how it looks under i know that it's taped up and something like that it's a needle that they use i didn't i think i caught a glimpse but i don't even know how the thing looks but i guess i'll put a link in the description box talking about next but on um and she told me it's really really good she said that a lot of women like it and um you know, just try it out. And she was saying she hope it works for me. And I hope it works for me as well. But this is in, because they have a family of birth control, which I named the low hormone, the low hormone pills, the Depo, the IUD, and the next one on. These are a um, group of birth control that is good when you're breastfeeding. It has progesterone only. Um, and none of those other hormones to make it stronger. Now, these this is better than the pills, she said, because it has a little bit more. It's a little bit stronger, um, but still has just progesterone in it because they have you have to keep it really low when you're breastfeeding. So um, we're gonna see how this goes. I got I had it done yesterday. November 2nd. So I think in a month, I'm going to do an update to see if I see any changes or anything. Cause I mean, on these pills, I was doing really good. Um, I mean, no problems or anything, no issues, even though I know my body is still adjusting from pregnancy. Um, but no problems at all. I mean, I took them as faithfully as I could, but she did say, as you can see, I'm missing this first one right here for Tuesday. And then, um, I took that Tuesday, yesterday I had this in. So she told me that I stopped taking my pills immediately with this in my arm. But she was saying since, you know, your body has to adjust. If you have do the do, um, use protection for a couple of days until this adjusts. Even though it's in the same family of the lower hormone, low hormone birth control pills. So... I just want to do a little update about that. If you're breastfeeding and if you're a mom or even if you're just a mom and you know you don't want to have any more kids no time soon, um, I would suggest 
looking into lower hormone pills if you've had issues with birth control pills in the past or maybe you want to try something new or maybe you're not good with taking your pills or the depot didn't work for you like me or the IUD was just uh, um, I've seen many videos with the IUD because at the time when I had the IUD I noticed the problems and stuff the cramping the period I like it was crazy in the first week it was crazy I was going nuts like and then I looked up a lot of videos on YouTube and a lot of women were having a second problem some of them took it out themselves I was gonna do that I went to the doctor and had it taken out and I vowed not to go back to that again um depo baby put on a lot of weight but like I said at the time I was younger I didn't have any kids actually when I tried the depo so it could be a big difference now but I'm not gonna go back to that and pills I just can't seem to take them on time and accurately every day some days I'm taking two at a time and so um so we're here at the next banana didn't get my tubes tied because I know that I don't want permanent birth control, at least not right now. I may want to have more kids in the future. Who knows what the Lord will want to happen. But, um, you know, he might need me to birth another kid to be the next, I don't know, big leader or something. So I don't want to take that risk of not fulfilling my duty as a mother. Um... But this is the next next plan on. I'm going to do an update, I think, in a month. Or I might do an update in like two weeks. But I'm thinking right now, a month, I'm going to do an update to give myself time to really try it and see how it works. Um, I think I will do a video maybe once I take this off later this afternoon to show you guys how it looked. Actually... I don't know if I want to pull this off right now. Um, actually, I think I'll pull it back right now just to show how it looks, I guess, because this will be my first time looking at it as well. So give me a second. So this is how it looks under my first time looking at it as well. So this is what we see. Um, she did tell me that I shouldn't peel the tape away that I should let the tape peel away on its own as the days go by. Um, don't peel it off or anything. So I guess that lets me know. Look, because this tape is sticking. Like, look how it's... This is like that real hospital tape. The one that really hurts when you peel it off. So maybe that's why she told me don't take it off. Just let it peel away on its own. So this is how it looks, you guys. I can't really see. Looks like it's probably a little small hole where she injected the the little next banana thing. And um yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It's a little little pain, but um I know yesterday it happened so fast that like I don't even like she put I guess some numbing stuff. She stuck me with a needle. It was like two needles. So she stuck me with a needle, I guess, to give me a little numbing pain. Um, like the sensation can go away. Finally getting some light in here. And then um, she did, I guess, the needle with the next banan. And it was so, it hurt. It didn't hurt that bad, but it was pain. But it was so fast. It was like, ooh, okay. That, one, that was it. So, um... Very easy procedure. It's not as bad as anyone would think. And that's about it. So if you're a breastfeeding mom and you're getting on birth control, are you trying to consider different birth controls? Um, remember to ask for low progesterone or low hormone pills, which if you have the proper doctor, they will tell you that they have to put you on something low. They can't give you nothing that can be, at, you know, Put your baby at risk if you're breastfeeding. So if you have a doctor that did not say we have to give you this because you're breastfeeding, you might want to reconsider. <laughs> but uh, if you're like me, consider the next Panon or Depo or whatever works for you. If you're not good with pills, please consider something else. That's all I'm saying. And that's what my doctor kept telling me. So until next time. I just know I'm not trying to get pregnant anytime soon. This lasts for three years while I'm thinking about it. This stays in for three years. So when I get this changed, 
are taken out and another one put in, my daughter should be three, of course, like they say. So three years. So we're going to see what happens and how it affects me in the next month. And I'll be doing an update on that. So until next time, remember to glow.